Hi Libra, welcome to your singles reading. Who's coming towards me for the month of December? This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. I thought that candle would last, so sorry about that. So we're gonna look at here uh, who could possibly be coming towards you. We're gonna pull some signs. We're gonna look at what time of year possibly. Um, under what circumstances, where, how, what kind of connection it will be, your some advice for you, and then we'll pull some tarot on it also to clarify the situation a little bit more. So this is sort of like a fun reading. So this is for singles, if you are single, or even if you're interested in someone and you're not in a committed relationship, maybe their energy will come out here. So we shall see. So I hope everybody's doing well. And this is intended for, whenever you see this, it is dated for December, but this will be uh, intended for whenever you see this, tell whenever I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So all playlists are listed below in the description box. So let's get a couple signs, a couple signs of possibly who may be coming towards you. As with any reading, take what resonates, throw away the rest. I could even pick up on a past or present or future energy also. All right, for Libra, what do we have for Libra? A couple signs for Libra singles at this time spirit. Okay, we have Leo. I've been getting a Leo, uh, Leo a lot in a lot of your readings, so let's get one more for in Uranus, which is um, Aquarius. So we have, that is so funny. And I know this is a love singles reading, but I'm a Leo. My other sister is an Aquarius, and my other sister is a Libra. That is just, that is just weird. Okay, so we have Leo, and we have Uranus, which is Aquarius. So two possible signs there. And Uranus is all about uh, human needs, changes, and that sort of energy. So basic human needs that everybody needs in life, love, friendship, eating, sleeping, uh, working, I mean, desires and goals, all that kind of energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading in any way, perhaps. So let me just move these over here. All right, so we're gonna look at who may be coming towards you. What is their energy like? What kind of person are they? When, like certain time of year? And where and under what circumstances? What kind of connection it will be? Advice for that connection? All right, so who is this person, possible person coming into Libra? What is their energy like? Who are they? All right, so we have Seven of Spring. So I think this is somebody who will, um, someone who is very brave, courageous, uh, passionate, because it does say here, be assertive, don't back down from what you believe, courageously stand up for yourself. So this is someone who, and you see like the archer there. So um, I think this is somebody who's not going to be afraid to go after what they want, to stand up for themselves. Uh, that's fiery, passionate energy. So um, just a go-getter, ambitious kind of energy. Um, be careful they don't have a little bit of like a defensive energy about them. They could have that about them or just, you know, defending their pride, who they are, you know, like they're proud of who they are and they're willing to defend it. And maybe even you at all costs, like they don't really care what anybody thinks. And they just believe what they believe in and they stand up for that. So let's see. So what? I'm getting like a heavy go-getter kind of energy. They may be a little defensive, have a defensive energy about them. So let's see when. So this is uh, the magician energy. So we do have one on here, but the magician represents um, Gemini and Virgo. So it could be between Gemini season or Virgo season. So Gemini season is June in May to June, and then Virgo is um, end of Jul end of August into September. So that's two time frames. So I'm getting Gemini season. Or Virgo season so that's kind of you know those two seasons have already passed so maybe this is somebody new you already met maybe you're not exclusively dating 
or this could be somebody you meet next year. You know, you may date other people uh, between then and now. But we do have one on here. So this could be like a new beginning with someone that uh, may be more serious. It's willing to uh, manifest a new beginning here. So let's see uh, where, like where you may meet this person. So we have the high priestess energy here. So you can meet them in church. You could meet them through a spiritual group. You could meet them through, um, I don't know, something like that. Like something to do with spirituality or faith or church or something like that or you could even be in a library because she see she has a book here so it could be like at a bookstore a library uh, at the magazine rack you know looking at books so something around books uh, I'm feeling um, you know like I said a bookshop coffee shop library but who goes to the library anymore or it's something to do with your faith, spirituality, whether you go to church, whether, you know, you belong to spiritual groups or something revolving around that. So we have one, two. So this is like, you know, and the high priestess comes right after the magician. So hmm, this is like progression. And let's see. So Gemini is during the summer. Well, it's like spring, like the cusp of spring. So, and this is spring here, so you definitely could meet this person, I'm feeling, either in the spring or summer. Depending, you know, could be. So, let's see. So, let's see how here. So, now we have this energy, uh, king of winter energy. So, it could be... Um, well, I'm not getting it's going to be around winter because we do have... Over here, the energy of you meeting them between spring or summer in that time frame. So I'm going to say the time frame between uh, spring and summer, like the beginning, like the end of spring to the end of summer during that time frame. Um, and maybe it could be towards the end of summer. Maybe you're out winter clothes shopping or something here. Or maybe you start your Christmas shopping early. I don't know. Some people do. They start at like the end of um, summer. Like, but so that you know, I feel like um, you know, this card says get advice from someone professional and objective, public speaking, on emotional. So I feel like maybe you know, maybe you're you know at the bookstore looking on books on you know, personal development or um, like professional help books or something like that. Maybe you're needing truth and clarity on something because the swords is all about truth and clarity. Maybe this person is too. And um, that's how you run into them. And you strike up a conversation about this. And it's a very like open, honest, truthful conversation. Um, really, it's, you know, having like a very thoughtful conversation here with that sword energy so that could be how you meet this person all right so we're going to look at here with the mermaid deck what kind of if you connect with this person what kind of connection will it be romantically between the two of you what kind of i feel like this person may be very smart they may be very uh philosophical, um, intellectual, and I think you're going to strike up like a very smart intellectual conversation with them about whatever, um, if it's at a bookstore or something like that, um, or about faith, spirituality, or if you're in a big bookstore looking up books for a certain topic, I think it's going to be like a really striking conversation between the two of you. And I think it's just going to like happen naturally. And use a really, I feel like, believe in what you're um, discussing here with the Seven of Spring. Like, really, really, like, defend it. Like, something truly passionate about uh, believe in. All right, so I feel like you'll have a lot in common here. And that King of Winter is your energy. It's air energy and your air sign. So, and you could be in that energy also, very intellectual. 
All right, so let's see what kind of connection. So it says, wait, don't rush into action right now. Bid your time for better results. So you may want to rush <laughs> rush into this uh, very quickly. Maybe you feel a connection instantly through the conversation, uh, whatever here. And it's like, boom, you're going to want to spend like a lot of time with them. You're going to want to rush it forward. But this is telling you, take it slow. Take a slow, practical approach here and just see where it goes. Don't rush too fast. Because the stronger the relationship, usually the, the you know the slower you take and build, the longer the relationships last. If you rush into things, sometimes they don't um, last as long. So let's get some advice for you. Let's get some advice for you in this connection, possible connection coming into you. So they definitely could be an air sign because we do have Aquarius with Uranus and King of Winter is air. So they could be a fellow air sign who, is, who has a very passionate disposition. They could have both signs in their chart. That just could be the energy of them. Um, they could be very fiery, passionate, and very smart and um, analytical and intellectual also. So let's get your advice your advice on this connection be of service so i feel like with be of service that's about you know um volunteering that's about um lending out a helping hand that's a sort of energy so what i'm feeling is if you see this person like <laughs> struggling uh, with something to you know help them out and i think that's what's gonna get this uh connection rolling here like if you see them like struggling to pick up a book or uh, they have questions or they're confused about something, it's telling you, you know, go over and strike up this conversation and lend a helping hand. You know, maybe offering to, you know, help them in some way. All right, so let's get some tarot on this Libra. Let's get some tarot. Clarify with some tarot for this possible incoming person. I feel like a very like intellectual connection here. Smart, intellectual, passionate um, kind of energy. And I think it's going to, you know, the magician there manifests very quickly. All right. So that weight could be like, you know, maybe you both decide to take a slow approach with this connection. You know, just dating. All right, so we have, is my deck upside down? Yes, it is. So we have the world here, which is earth energy. So this, I'm not going to read the signs because I don't want to make it too confusing. So this is about cycles ending and whole new uh, cycles starting. So some new cycle here, I feel, between the two of you. Definitely here with one on the magician with the new beginning. And now we have the five of wands. So this could be about conflict. Feeling conflicted, conflict, competition. That's that fiery, passionate energy again. The star. So there's the Aquarius here with Uranus. So faith, hope, optimism. So, and it's coming right onto the high priestess. So you may, you actually may meet this person during, during, you know, maybe they come to visit your church or something or they're visiting friends or family and they go to church with, you know, their friends and family and you meet them, somebody new or something surrounding, you know, your faith, spirituality, groups, or like I said, bookstore, coffee shop, magazine rack, I don't know, something here. But very healing energy, divinely guided energy here, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true. So yeah, I think you're gonna see this person or see each other and be like stars twinkle in your eyes. Um, I feel like you both could be ready for a whole new cycle, chapter in life here. Um, getting over conflict of the past and ready just to move forward in a whole new direction for some of you or feeling conflicted about uh, maybe cycles that have just ended moving forward, but healing from that. So let's get another one here. The hermit, the hierophant. So, <laughs> wow. So this could lead to commitment here in the future. Yeah, I feel like you're going to want to like, I don't want to say like commit, but you're going to want to like exclusively just date each other, be with each other all the time. I think it's going to be a very intellectual connection, 
passionate connection as far as being passionate about whatever you're talking about here. The Hierophant is, you know, again, with that faith, it's spirituality um, kind of energy. Also values, morals, a lot of that energy here. So if that makes sense for you. The Knight of Swords. So yeah, I feel like you're going to want to rush this very quickly. Like it's just going to move along very quickly. It's instant connection. And <laughs> Knight of Swords rushes in very quick uh, movement here. So let's get another one. So we have the, what is this now? Four of pentacle energy. So yeah, so we have the Knight of Swords here, which is about rushing and moving forward very, very quickly. But then we have the Four of Pentacles, which is about holding back, holding on, holding back, you know, not giving, uh, not receiving, just kind of holding on to what you have, not giving to others, not sharing with others, but it could be an energy also guarding and holding on to something also. So we've got like two conflicting energies. So I think I'm going to have to try to balance out the energy here of taking a more slower practical approach rather than trying to just rush into this quickly because I do sense that energy here. Let's get one more. Yeah, the King of Pentacles energy. So yeah, being stable and grounded and um, more stable grounding energy here with the King of Pentacles energy. So yeah, taking a more slow practical approach, um, slow building, slow growth. Don't rush too fast into this. Let it happen naturally. Balance out the energies here. But I do see a very strong, passionate, very intellectual uh, connection here. Wow. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So Knight of Cups energy. So definitely coming forward, moving forward in love and emotions and feelings for one another. A very loving approach here. So there is love. There can be stability, passion. It's all here. Just be, take take it slow, see where it goes, slow building, slow growth. And this does have the energy to manifest into uh, future commitment, exclusively dating, that kind of energy. The Hierophant sometimes can be about marriage also. So, I mean, this could lead to marriage like way down the road here. This could be a person, divinely guided person here with the star. So you may not meet them till the end of spring into the end of summer, I would say, of next year during that time frame. Wow, Libra. So Libra, uh, if you're new and you do like this reading, my style, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. And they're all different. And you can check the description box below for all the information you need, personal readings, tons of stuff down there. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Good luck to you. Sending you the best, and as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.